If you're looking for an easy way to earn gift cards and subscriptions for doing things that you already do, then look no further. We're going to take a look at Microsoft Rewards. This is Microsoft's incentive program that rewards you just for using their products like searching on the web using their browsers or using the Bing app on your mobile devices and even playing games on your Xbox. So we're going to go through the program and I'll give you the best ways to earn points in each category. And I'll give you my tips on how to earn the most possible points with as little effort as possible. So let's get right into it. But if you want to follow along with me or if you want in-depth details on everything that we talked about today, then I'll leave the links under the like and subscribe button below. This guide slash walkthrough we broke it up into a three-part series. In this video, I'll walk you through all the basic ways to gain points with Microsoft Rewards and the process. So it'll kind of be like an intro of sorts. In the second video, we'll look at other ways that you can gain even more points that are not so common that people might have missed. And the third video in the series will be focusing on the best way to use your points and the process of redeeming points on many different other platforms. So do remember to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you know when those videos get released. This video is not intended for those that just want a simple breakdown of the steps. This is a complete walkthrough with demonstrations, not just a guide. There are plenty of three to five minute videos out there you can watch if that's what you want. And here's a quick summary that breaks down the steps to earn points if that's all you're looking for. But if you want more, then keep watching as we walk through the nuances and answer some questions about the program. Here's the timeline of topics that we're going to go through in this video, and I'll leave chapters on this video if you want to quickly get to the topic you're looking for. But before we get started, make sure you check if Microsoft Rewards is available in your country or region. It's pretty pointless to go any further if you don't have access to the program. And I know it's unfortunate that it's not available everywhere, but they're always adding new regions to their support list, so you never know. Your country might be next on that list. I hear a lot of people are able to use Microsoft Rewards even if they're not in a supported region by using a VPN. And I don't have any experience with this, but apparently it's possible, but it's still not recommended because it is against Microsoft's policies to use rewards in an unsupported region, which could get your account banned. So what can you get with Microsoft Rewards? Or what can you do with those points? You can redeem those points for gift cards from places like Microsoft and Xbox, obviously. You can also get the gift cards for Target, Walmart, and many other places. You can also redeem your points for subscriptions like Xbox subscriptions and memberships, digital codes, and Snipe credits. You can also use your points to enter sweepstakes to win prizes like computers, games, and accessories, and so much more. And if those don't tickle your fancy, then you can always donate your points to your favorite charities like the CDC Foundation, the Special Olympics, or the American Red Cross. So it has a little bit of everything for everyone. Just keep in mind that the rewards are always changing, so something might be added to exactly what you're looking for. So keep an eye out for it. You might see different rewards than the ones that I'm showing you now, since different regions have different rewards that are available only to that specific region. But uh, you can always check in the rewards tab in your account to see what's available to you. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to go register with Microsoft Rewards. And it's a very simple process. It's just like signing up for anything else. Just enter your name, your email, and all that good stuff. But once you're done registering, you'll see this dashboard right here. And the first thing you want to notice is the points breakdown on the top corner right here. And this is the bread and butter of Microsoft Rewards. It's been the main way to get points for, well, as long as I can remember. And you can complete both these options just by using the Edge browser and doing searches. But uh, you can see that you're only limited to 5 points a day for the Edge browser and only 50 points for PC searches. And at 5 points every time you do a search, it's probably like 10 searches. But hold up, if you look up top here, you'll notice lock in your level 2 status. Well, well, what is that? Uh, let's close this window for now and let's go over to the status tab here. And here you'll see a bunch of information, uh, but we'll go through that later. But for now, we're going to see the level benefits. And you can see that there are three levels here. But technically, there's only two with a bonus perk level if you have an Xbox subscription service. Uh, the only difference between those two levels is that you gain more points per dollar that you spend on qualifying purchases. Double the amount of purchase points uh, to be exact, but uh, I'll put a big asterisk on qualifying because not every purchase is going to earn you points. But you have to earn at least 500 points a month to remain level 2 for the next month. And if you don't, then you'll start off at level 1 again the following month. But the biggest difference is between level 1 and level 2. Once you earn 500 points, you'll be level 2, and your point caps for PC searches, Edge browser, and points per dollar will increase to these amounts right here. And I think that's pretty sweet. 
So once you reach level 2, you can earn 150 points for PC searches and 20 points for edge browsing, which gives you approximately around 170 points per day that you can earn. And this is what your points breakdown will look like once you reach level 2. But wait a minute, what, what's this mobile search thing I see now? Right, so once you reach level 2, you'll unlock mobile searches to be able to earn another 100 points per day just by doing the same searches on your mobile devices. But more on that later, let's finish off what we need to do here on the browser first, and then we'll head over to the mobile devices. So back to the dashboard. The next best option to earn points is the daily set. And all you have to do here is just click on each one of these items to complete the set. And it usually takes you to a different tab, and you may have to answer some questions or do a poll to complete each one. And it takes about a minute or two to do them, and then you get points after you do them. The points fluctuate every day, but uh, I average around 50 points per day from daily sets. By doing these sets every day, you get this streak bonus down here. The longer the streak, the larger the bonus becomes. So if you complete your first month of streaks, it's going to kind of look like this. Here's another question I'm going to answer. Once you reach the threshold of 150 points for a streak bonus, the bonus points will no longer increase. From here on out, you'll receive streak bonus of 150 points every 10 days, no matter how long your streak is. And you'll start noticing this about uh, after 34 days into your streaks. There are also badges that you can earn by maintaining your streak and by doing other activities. Badges don't really do anything for you in regards to points. It's just an achievement and while we're on the subject of badges, not every region will have badges available to them so you might not see badges in your account. It would be nice for Microsoft to add some kind of reward for people who are dedicated to their products and earn some of these badges like the 99 days daily streak set. I mean, that's, that's over two and a half years of logging in every single day and doing the sets. And, you know, much props to those that are able to do that and are dedicated like that. When you first sign up, you'll have tons of activities to do to earn points. So go ahead and finish your daily set and then scroll down a bit and do any quests or punch cards that you can do. I usually skip over any of the ones that have to, you know, require like a purchase or something. But you can always do them if you want to. And then go down to the more activities section and just do whatever is available to you. And you may even get an activity like installing the browser extension if you haven't already done it. All the extension really is is just gives you a quick summary of your points without you actually having to log into your dashboard. And it's really handy if you forget to do your dailies but uh, usually an extra 100 points just for installing it. But there's usually one new activity down here every other day. So just do a quick check every time you log in. Now that we've broken down the point system, here's how you do the searches. And let's go back over to our points breakdown and we'll just go ahead and click on the PC search link and it's probably going to take you to a new tab or a new window. You can just type in different topics or whatever it is that you want to search for in the bar and you'll get points for it. And you might need to type in like 20 to 30 different types of searches to complete your daily searches. Here's a tip or trick or whatever it is that you want to call it that make your searches a little bit faster. What you're looking for are topics and subjects that have a lot of tabs or categories. So what do I mean by this? I'm going to give you some examples of different types of searches to show you what I'm talking about. For instance, I'm just going to go ahead and type in movies as my topic. And you can see that these movies are in a tile-like format here. And you can just click through each one of them. And as you click through each one of them, you can see that your points will increase in the top corner here. And if you don't see the points increase, then you might want to make sure that you are signed into your rewards account. And you just have to be careful not to click too fast in between each tile since the points will not have enough time to register and the page won't have enough time to load. This was the method that I used before. But since Microsoft added the animations to each of these tiles, it makes the search much slower since it takes extra time to load the animation between each click. But before it was just a simple tile that I could just easily click through. Also, if you click on a tile that you already earned points for, then you won't receive any points for it. So it has to be a new tile or a new search topic. So you can't just spam click on one tile because it doesn't give you any points. There's two alternative ways that can make your searches much faster. First, if you click on the images tab over here, and notice how the tiles are different now, and there are more tiles on the page. Now, when I click on the tile, it automatically changes the topic, but it also changes the tiles to almost completely different topics. And this is very convenient because you don't have to waste time to type in different topics. It automatically changes it for you. Now you just literally click through. Alternatively, you can also go over to the videos tab. And you can see that it works pretty much in the exact same way as the images tab, but the tiles look a little bit different. The images tab does feel a bit faster to do your searches since it probably takes a little bit longer to load a video image than it would to load a picture. 
but it's not a huge difference. So try each one for yourself and see which one works best for you. Now obviously you don't have to use these methods if you're a daily user of Bing or Edge because you'll probably end up reaching the daily requirements just by using the platform as you normally would. But it's more for those that don't really use Bing or Edge. And as I'm explaining the process to you guys, our daily searches are pretty much completed. It's that easy. So let's head back to our dashboard and you can see that our Bing and PC searches are completed. Since this is a new account, I'm just going to go through the dashboard and complete my daily sets, quests, and any activities that I have available. It should only take me about 5 minutes to complete them, but instead of making you guys wait, I'm just going to complete them and then meet you guys back here when I'm done. Alright, so we're back and I completed most of my activities and I'm about to hit the 500 points to reach my level 2 status. And let me go through that now so that you guys can see it in real time. So let's go ahead and take a look at our points real quick and I'll just do the last one to reach 500 points. And voila. If you take a look at the points breakdown now, you can see that our points have reset to reflect our new level 2 status. And that's why we did our PC searches before we did all of our daily sets and activities because once we reach our level 2, we lost an opportunity to gain about 55 points before the reset happens. But if you didn't do it, don't sweat it because it's, it's only 55 points. But then again, it does make a difference if you want to reach level 2 in your first day. And I guess that was kind of like a little mini tip if you guys want to take advantage of it. But now I can redo my PC searches again to earn even more points for the day. So now that that's done, let's head on over to our mobile device to get more points and complete our points breakdown. But before that, here's the first question that I'm going to answer, and I get this question quite often. Why does my points breakdown look different than yours? The main reason is that different locations and regions have different currency values. So for instance, if you're in the UK, the pound has a higher value than the US dollar. So a way of balancing the rewards, they just decided to decrease the amount of points that you can receive. But even if you live in the same region as someone else that's using Microsoft Rewards, you still may see a different point breakdown system like this one. Ultimately, it still ends up with the same amount of points. But to be honest with you guys, I don't know why Microsoft really does this, but uh, it does feel pretty random if you ask me. If you guys happen to get the other point system like this one, then it may take you about 15 to 20 seconds long to complete the points. It's not a big deal, but it's just something that you'll want you guys to be aware of. So in order for you to earn points for searches on your mobile devices, you could do either of two things. Well, you could probably actually do both, but the first option is to make Bing the default search engine for your mobile browser. It's relatively straightforward, but you should be seeing the instructions on how to do it on screen for iPhones, Android, and Edge. Once you make Bing your default search engine, all you have to do is do searches like you normally would on the PC until you reach your daily point cap. The second option is to use the Bing app, which is my preferred method. The Bing app can be found on the Google Play Store and the Apple App Store. Just download it and install it. And once you're done, just open up the app and then click on the little portrait icon for your account. And then I'm going to click on the sign in button here. And then I'm going to sign into my Microsoft Rewards account using the same credentials. Once I'm on my home page, I'm going to click on the search bar right here. And I'm going to type in a topic that I want to use. Like I'm going to use uh, Marvel movies and you can see that I use it in the past. It's something that I like using. And then I'll just click through these tiles, kind of similar to the PC version. The cool thing that I like about using the app is that it's much faster to do your searches. Probably because it's more optimized and you can see that on screen as I'm speaking and demonstrating. Now that we're done with our mobile searches, if we head back to our points breakdown, you can see that all of our dailies have been completed. And today we totaled with a whopping 776 points. And your points may vary depending on what's available to you in your region. But uh, it's still a very nice amount of points for our first day. Also, if we go over to our status page and scroll down to the bottom of the page, you can see a weekly points history if you want to keep track of what you've been earning recently. It should take you less than 3 minutes to complete the daily routine using the methods that we talked about. And this video is only long because I wanted to address and answer some of the questions from the community at a higher level. And plus it takes time to explain anything to someone that's never used the service before other than just click here and click that. But here's another question that I received in the past. How much money can I earn or how much are the points worth? And in the United States doing this routine you should be averaging around 300 points per day which equates to roughly 9,000 points per month or uh, 109,000 points per year. And in terms of monetary values, it's more like $109 a year, depending on what you redeem it for. More on that on the redemption video, though. 
And we haven't even talked about the other ways to earn points that can double or even triple the amount of points. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when that video gets released. And I do want to thank everyone who asked me these questions because if it weren't for those questions, I probably would have never deep dived into the program since I was pretty content with just getting points. But because of that, I was able to streamline my routine and get more efficient and I wanted to share the experience with you guys. But the reality is, Microsoft Rewards isn't going to make you rich. But I can tell you that it sure does help me get those extra things in my life without feeling guilty. So give Microsoft Rewards a try for yourself. What do you got to lose? Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would appreciate if you hit that like button. And if you want more content like this, don't forget to hit that notification bell and subscribe to my channel. It really helps support my content. But if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. And I'll try my best to answer them. As always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.